Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Diva. This is video nine, and today we're talking about high pass filters. So let's right click over here in the display panel and go to init preset and maybe scroll once up with our mouse wheel to change this panel here. So this section over here is going to be basically our dedicated high pass filter section, with exception being the triple VCO, because we don't have that, we just have this feedback knob. Now, let's say, for example, you like this feedback knob and you want to put it on dual VCO, for example, you can definitely do that. By default, it's going to be here like that, but you can always select this drop down menu and select it here. Now, this feedback back here is going to be called just feedback no high pass filter and this takes the output of the filter and feeds it back into the mixer and it can be and it can provide subtle bass boost and interesting subharmonics so let's take a listen to that once again so especially right around here we get quite a big bass boost So moving on from there, next we have high pass filter post. Now this filter comes after the main filter, hence the post name, and it won't affect the tone of the main filter. It can boost low end with the boost settings and then it can cut some low end with different options here. So let's play a low end note here and let's select boost and notice how the bass will jump a little bit. So it's kind of an interesting concept. We're using a high pass filter, but using that to boost low end. And then up here we have just different revisions of how much of that low end do we want to remove. And moving on from there, we have high pass filter pre. Now this high pass filter is before the main filter with an adjustable slider here. So it's a lot more simplistic than the other ones. Just kind of slide it to where it feels right. Now keep in mind, this can affect the tone of the main filter because it's going to be sending it less low frequencies. And if you have less information going into a filter, it's going to change the tone of that filter. And last but not least, again, my personal favorite is going to be the high pass filter bite. Now this one costs the most CPU out of all the high pass filters. And this also comes with two different revisions right here. So you're kind of getting basically two different high pass filters in one. And we can see the sound change as we go through the different revisions here. Now we have the cutoff over here. We have the peak, which is basically going to be pretty much the resonance called in this MS-20 version of that. Take a listen to kind of how that sounds here. And we can also get some bass boost from that. So right there, we're getting quite a lot of bass boost by cutting off at a certain spot, increasing that resonance there. And this also has cutoff modulation down here for this third knob. So if we select this to maybe LFO2, for example, and let's turn this over here. And we can change the speed over here by putting my mouse over here and, and moving the uh, mouse wheel. So that's pretty much all these high pass filters in a nutshell. Definitely very cool to check them out. And like I said before, this high pass bite is probably the coolest one of the bunch. This one over here, maybe pre or post are a little bit more smooth. I would say more so the post is gonna be less smooth than the pre, but definitely use your ears, use your own patches and kind of just play around with each module and each panel and kind of just see what fits for you and kind of get used to each one. That way, once you're creating a patch, you can say, oh, okay, this sounds cool. Maybe I wanna put the byte high pass filter on that as opposed to this pre version or so on and so forth. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.